Hello and welcome to this Power BI video. We are continuing our tutorial series and today we are going to discuss running total. So let's uh, start creating a visual or we are going to create a table visual and let's we have taken a date out here and let's increase the font. So give size here and then we can increase. Spell is wrong. Okay, let's add sales to it. Fine. So what we are going to do, we are going to get date wise cumulative. You might have seen similar kind of stuff when you do YTD, QTD, they, those uh, keep on accumulating till year or till quarter and then they get reset. Now in this case, we don't want to reset. We want to continue that one. So now because we have used date table, so we are going to create it based on the date table. So what we are going to do is we call it cumulative sales, cum sales and calculate and sales now we can use all or all selected let's use all selected out here so filter all selected depending on the need you can do date now date and date is less than and equal to max so what is the context from that context go beyond behind whatever dates are available okay so max of date update and then we close this one so cum says we got and we put it here okay, we already got it okay so look this number is increasing at the last you will get the same number so we can scroll and see on the last row also we okay, still not able to scroll completely we lot of data is there okay still not completely so a lot of data we have data till 2020 so let's do some continuous scrolling quick scrolling and number will match okay and see if the dates are there available with calendar like my calendar is uh, till today and that's how i set up so you will get this data now uh, so this is um, um, the data because uh, we have created cumulative now let's try if we can restrict it so what we can do is if max of date of date will not okay we'll say let's say if sales is blank if sales is blank then blank else calculate let's see does this work out for us and we like this so let's see now again let's go to the last and see oh so many dates so it's 18, 19, 18, 18, still 18, 18, 19. And let's see, 20 where it is ending. Okay, so we have limited this. So this is one way you can limit it. So you can try this out. So you say when sales is blank, then don't give us, otherwise give us. Uh, so you may miss some date if there is no sales in that case. So you need to be a bit careful. Uh, otherwise, we can actually go ahead and find out a max date and say, okay, if it, if it is greater than max so that's another way so if date max of date is greater than the max of date which we have taken as a variable then give blank otherwise give cumulative that is another way we can do it because right now sales was we know we have continuous sales here and then it is blank only when it is going to be date where it doesn't have a sales so we have taken this so and the other method is you say max of date and you say which is uh, max update in the data so from the date from the sales table we are going to take the max date and going to reduce it so that's uh, that is the other version you can try so try this out and let us know what else you want to uh, create as a video on power bi uh, subscribe to our channel press the bell icon so that you can get new notifications thanks for watching this video thank you